It's a strange place. It's very clean. I like gritty places, but I mean, the crowds here are good. They're very popular in Toronto. Is there a difference between the sort of audiences you get in Canada and the sort of audiences you get in America? Well, no. I mean, America, although they don't consider themselves American, Canadians, uh, it's very similar. We get kind of a lot more young girls here, whereas in Maine, America, we get a, all different kinds of people, every age group from like 16 to 60, which is odd in America, and also black and white, lots of different black and white crowds. You know. These big butch Americans you meet in the Middle West, how do they react to you? But I don't think there are any more big butch Americans anyway. You know, I think they're all gone. I think John Wayne took them all with him, you know. I just think that generally uh, there's a lot more liberal, you know, liberal attitudes now. I mean, people, are, people don't really care about me as long as what I'm doing is good. I mean, they've got Liberace and Dolly Parton, so, you know, I'm hardly revolutionary. How are you accepted by the press over here? Very well. Because, uh, you know, um, I kind of, from the beginning, I, I used my sense of humour and I kind of avoided all the sexual questions, you know. They asked me if I was bisexual, and I said, yes, when I want sex, I have to buy it. <laughs> so, you know, I kind of made jokes about it. And I think that they've, you know, I should have done that in England, really, you know. Do you miss the fact that you've got no privacy? I have got some privacy, you know. I mean, obviously not as much as I had. But then I suppose when you, when you look like I do, I mean, I've always looked like this anyway, you know, for a long time. So I've kind of brought it on myself. I spent such a long time trying to be noticed that I'm almost quite grateful now. <laughs> Bowie was one of the trendsetters of the 70s. Um, do you think you've taken over from where he's left off? Um, I don't think so, really, because, you know, with, with me, it's, it's a lot more humorous. I have a certain kind of normal wisdom quality, which I think Bowie didn't have. I don't think he had a sense of humor at all. Do you think he took himself too seriously? I think, I think he knows he took himself too seriously, but I think he still does, really, you know. I think for the last kind of 10 years, it's been, oh, this, this is the new David Bowie, and the last one was a gimmick. But I, I still think there's a, I've got a lot of respect for David Bowie, you know, so I don't really want to, you know, he's, he's good. Otherwise, he wouldn't be at number one, you know. He, he wouldn't be doing as well as he is. <laughs> I mean, I have got brains, you know. I mean, you won't see me in the Camden Town Dole office in five years, believe me. What are you doing? <laughs> well, I've just, I've just written a song for Musical Youth. She's gone on her new album. And I've done some songs for other people which you can't really talk about. But I'll be doing a lot of that. I mean, that's mainly what I want to do anyway. I want to be a songwriter, you know, and maybe I'll end up tapping the boards in 50 years. I mean, I'm basically a, a crooner at heart. So that's what I'd like to do, you know. <laughs> Move over Bowie. <laughs> <laughs>